Paul the apostle that came, came to our, our area, you know, to preach. And she was, she had open hands. She received him, you know, and she for that she helped the, the um, gospel to, to, you know, go on during our own time. Though she was a businesswoman, she was busy. You could say she was really busy, but she had the light of Christ in her. And she said, no matter, even if I'm high up there or, or de there, I will still show forth the light of Christ. God can use you and me, no matter where we find ourselves, to show forth the light of Christ. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Eunice and Lois, they show for goodly parenting. They brought up Timothy. They prepared him well for his childhood days, during his childhood days, and he was used in ministry. That Paul had to attest that he saw the faith in his mother and grandmother. You know, they brought up Timothy from his childhood days, and he was prepared for ministry. God can count on you and count on me. Give us the grace to just do what we know how to do. Do what we can do and see it work for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Proverbs 31 woman, she had great impact on our family, friends, servants, neighbors, and strangers. She, she did good to everybody. There was nobody that was sidelined. There was nobody that was you know, discriminated against. In our own time, yeah, we're going to exercise caution. But from a willing mind, do the little you can do. Do the best you can do. And it's a rip. It will bring great rewards and great impact. That's the most important thing. Great impact first, but then the rewards will follow in Jesus' name. Our contemporary times, Susan Wesley, she had 19 children from which came John and Charles Wesley. We have Mary Washington. Mary Washington, she was a godly woman, and she produced the first American president, George Washington. She trained him up, and he was the first American president. Those are great women that made godly impact. And we know the good things that George Washington was able to accomplish here in, in America. Florence Nightingale, she was also a godly woman. And in the world of nursing, you, cannot, you, can, you have to always call her name. That was because she made sure that what she knew how, knows how to, she was saying that integrity is no more, care is no more, people just do whatever they want to do. No, but she said, I'm going to stand up and I'll do this. And today, we hear her name all over nursing. Morrow Granham. She was the mother of Billy Graham and Franklin Graham. And we know that's wonderful minister of God whom God used during his time. These are women that did great and mighty things in their family and raised great men for the glory of God. Fanny Crosby, she was blind, despite her challenges. Even in a blind estate, she was able to see because the light of God was able to shine through her. She was able to see and she wrote over 9,000 hymns Fanny Crosby, though she was blind. So there's nothing that we cannot accomplish in this life as women, no matter our, um, our weaknesses. Sometimes they say treat us as weaker vessels, which is fine. You know, want our men to take care of us and everything. But even in that weakness, you know, connect to God and let him tell you what you can do. Fanny Crosby did not look at the blindness that she had. She just looked up unto him. And God gave us songs which is blessing so many lives. All, most of our songs, we sing it here in the church. That was Fanny Crosby. Catherine Booth, she was the founder of the Salvation Army. She was a godly woman. She was the founder of, she and her husband, Salvation Army. Where today we go, because she, was, she had a heart for the needy. And we go there, you know, give, you know, just donate. That was Catherine Booth. That was Catherine Booth. Ami Kamikel, some of these names, you know, you may not know them, but these are people that did something great, tangible, you know, in their own lifetime. She saved children from prostitution in India. She rose up and said, no, these children cannot be in prostitution. And she rose up and saved these children, you know, from prostitution. Many people, many other women, I cannot go on it's a very long list. But even now, our continue our church, we see Mama, um, um, late Mama Abiyodun Kumui of Blessed Memory. She brought about the woman mirror that has blessed thousands of lives. I'm sorry, because sorry that I, you know, she's I hope there, but for, for me, she touched me personally.
what I can remember of her for me, because I could not think that she would do it. Shortly before her passing, she gave me a phone case, and I was so touched. A phone, you know, the phone, the casing of the phone. I was so touched. I said, how would mama up there know about me? Well, I know me and my parents, but I was just, like, touched about that, that I cannot forget. I cannot forget. Uh, when she passed on, you know, it, it really took me out. But those are women. She did the, wo the woman mirror. She said in her own lifetime, she's going to start the woman mirror. And she started it, and it has blessed the many lives. What can you do for Christ? What can you do for your generation? We have mommy Esther coming in now. She's helping our father and Lord going up and down, you know, serving God together. We can also do something. The next person on the list is who? Your name. Yeah. The next person on the list is who? Your name. My name. We are the next person on the list. It's time for us to rise up, you know, and do what God has, what God has implanted in you to do. You can make a, a godly impact. You've known Christ. You've known God. What are you doing with what you know? You may not be up there. You may be just in your corner. The song says, brighten the corner where you are. Because someone far from Abel, you may guide across the bar. Brighten the corner where you are. No matter where you are, at your job place, you brighten it. Brighten the corner where you are. All these people were able to do this because they had relationship with God. They had salvation. They had genuineness of salvation. Excuse me. Genuineness of salvation, sincerity, fear of God. very sorry. I'm emotional. Most people don't know, but I am very. Maybe, maybe I'll use my emotional thing to serve God, right? <laughs> so these people had um, salvation. They had genuine, genuine relationship with God. They had the fear of God. They had hardened love for God. They followed hard after God. They had obedience, humility, faith, sobriety, self-discipline had a gracious song, sound conviction of the word of God. They had hospitality. They were dead also to the world. They had all these great things in their life. God has given you something. He has deposited something in you, and you can use it for the glory of God. Amen. Point three, complementary influence of godliness. Complementary influence of godliness. Proverbs 14, verse 34. Proverbs 13, 14, 34. It says, Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Righteousness exalted a nation. Righteousness will only exalt. Righteousness, anywhere you find yourself. Stand for truth. Stand for the right. People may not love you. Stand for it anyways. People may not come. Someone, one day is going to make an impact. Stand for it. Stand for righteousness. Stand for good things. Stand for for things that you know is right. Stand for the right. Stand for truth. Time failed me to mention some people who had, you know, they stood for what was right. And we are all are enjoying those things. Sometimes it was a time that the, during the slavery time, you know, I don't want to go into that, but, you know, some women stood up for right and said, no, we cannot go through this. And they stood, at that time, maybe the Spirit of God descended on them that day. When I read their stories, like, they just said, enough is enough. And they stood up and did the right thing. You know, God will help us in Jesus' name. Righteousness, we exalt a nation. Righteousness, we exalt a nation. First, let us be righteous. It says, when the righteous prosper, when the righteousness is prospering, when you are an agent of change, of righteousness, the city is going to rejoice. The city would rejoice. You want your communities to rejoice. You want your families to rejoice. You know, people around you to rejoice. God wants us to be that light. God wants us to be that light, to brighten the corner where we are. 
we have different corners where we are. The media is filled with many, many, you turn right, you turn left, you can't even run away from them. They are just there on your phone. If you're media savvy, what are you doing in the media? You can do something for God, no matter how little it is. Do it and say, my own candle must shine. You're not doing it for recognition. You're doing it that even if it's one person, I'm a very Trump, that even if it's just one, I am fine with it. One person can be saved. One person can be touched in the media. In our schools, we have teachers in the schools. Stand up for what is right. It's going to be tough, but stand up for what is right. One day, that truth, that thing that you're standing for will prevail, and people will come and realize that this person is a godly person. They are watching you. People are watching you, are watching me. Well, one day, they're going to say it to your face. You will not know that they are watching you, but one day, they're going to say it to your face. <laughs> two weeks ago, what are two weeks ago? I, I didn't know, I was just carrying on my business. I went to lunch and I was going out. I know they, they were talking and saying stuff and then they called me. Priscilla, I go by Priscilla. This, this, this and that. I said, oh, why are you calling me for, for this? I'm just minding my business and I'm moving. I said, oh no, you know that we watch you. I don't want, I'm not saying it for myself, but I was, at that time I was now, I was now getting more conscious that I have to do the things that are right. Sometimes, maybe if I go late to work, I'll be like, <laughs> people are watching me. <laughs> because they said it. I was like, as in the, all of them, they called themselves together. And I was like, oh God, please help me. They're watching us. They're watching us. In our schools, in the schools, we have teachers, godly teachers, stand for what is right. Let your, 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 your students, the, the students in your class, let them know that this one is different. You teach them the right, even though their curriculum is all you know messed up and different things have been inf are infiltrating now but stand up for what is right you know in a wise way in a wise way you know our jobs in the political system some some of us will have that you know ability to be up there in a wise way in our hospitals in our businesses you can rewrite policies to change the tide of evil you can rewrite policies in our community People are dying out there. They're looking for someone. You can lend a helping, helping hand to somebody. In the homeless shelters, the prisons, the byways and the highways of, of life, somebody needs your love. Somebody needs you to do something. Some, they say they are groaning for the light. They are groaning. They're looking for someone just to call and tell them that. You just, you know, sometimes when we are, um, you know, tending to our children, sometimes you just leave them and they are watching iPad and everything. They are, they are helpless. They don't know how to stop watching the iPad. They just need you to say, stop that, and they stop. Because even when you see them, you know that they are helpless, and they, are, they just keep watching them. But you, once you just say, stop, they stop. So we are that voice. People are waiting for us to say something, to say something and do the right. And it will, God will help us. We'll be that light in Jesus' name. We'll be that light in Jesus' name. Say, I will be that light. I will live out loud for Christ. Say it. I know that's for the um, uh, young people. Say, LOL, laugh out loud. I will live out li loud for Christ. <laughs> I will influence my generation for Christ. And when we are doing all these things, you know, one day, some of them, maybe they are not born again right there, but one day they will remember that you told, you did something to them. They'll remember that you impacted their life one way or the other. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Don't look down on yourself. Don't think that you cannot do anything, even your weakness. Tell God, open my eyes. Let me see, what is that thing that I can do? What is that thing that you can do? In our homes, we we'll start from our homes, yes, and then out. We go out, you know, to just impact one person, win them one by one for Christ. And God will help us in Jesus' name. The choir song is a very beautiful song to, to us. It says, each day I'll do a golden deed. By helping those who are in need, my life on earth is but a span. I'll do the best I can. To be a child of God each day, my light must shine. 
along the way. I'll sing his praise while ages roll and strive to help some troubled soul. The only life that will endure is one that is kind and good and pure. And so for God, I'll take my stand each day. I'll lend a helping hand. I'll help someone in time of need. I'll journey on with rapid speed. I'll help the sick, the poor, and the weak. And words of kindness to them, I'll speak. He says, while going down life's weary road, I'll try to lift some traveler's load. I'll try to turn the night to day, make flowers blooms, al bloom along the way. Life evening sun is sinking low. A few more days and I must go to meet the deeds that I have done where there will be no setting sun. What is that thing that you can do in your generation to make impact? What is that thing you can do in your community to make impact wherever you are? You have a candle in you, once you have given your life to Christ, take that candle, run to the darkness. Run to the darkness. Seek out the hopeless, the tired, the torn. You know, bring out your candle, raise it high for all to see. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your world. Your light will shine, my light will shine in Jesus' name. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer and tell God to give us the grace. By our own power and our strength, it's not possible. Many things are contending with us. There is no doubt about it. But through the grace of God, our light will shine. The Spirit of God will descend upon us and our light will shine. We'll all stand up and we'll sing the song. My light must shine. The light of God must shine. No matter the darkness, the light of God must shine. My light, my light must shine. The light of God must shine. No matter the darkness, the light of God must shine, must shine. Must shine, must shine, no matter the darkness, the light of God must one more time, my light must shine, no matter the darkness, the light commit ourselves into God's hand. The darkness is thick. It's a gross darkness pervading the land. But you will be that light, the candle in the darkness. I will be that light as women of God, as, as women that God has placed us on this earth to, our light must shine. In our family first, our light will shine. Things will come, yes, they will come, to contend with your heart, to contend with your spirit and your soul. But at the end of the day, God will win. Light will prevail. Darkness will give way in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell God, God, the little light that you are putting me as the children will sing, this little light of mine, I will let it shine. Let it shine where it is needed. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. The light of God will shine in the mighty name of Jesus. People will say and unsay. They will do and undo, let the light of God shine. You have the backing of God with you, let the light of God shine. Yeah, there will be times of discouragement. As women, we are, sometimes we pass through discouragement. We look around us and we see things around us and it's making us discouraged, making our hearts to give in, to give out. Don't, don't worry, the light of God will shine through you. 
the light of God will shine through you. The light of God will shine through me in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever is the problem in our lives, in our families, in our home, they will give way to the light of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will make that light to shine forth in the name of Jesus. Not by our own power. Sometimes our flesh is weak. There is no doubt about it. But once we depend on the strength of God, once we depend on the strength of God, he will give us vision. Because we look to him, to him where our hope and our strength comes from. All these women that did it, they didn't do it in their own power. They were looking unto God. They were looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of their faith. They were looking unto him, and he gave them the strength to be able to do it. Things will come. I'm talking, yes, I get discouraged also myself. I get worn out. I get tired myself. But I would not let anybody, by the grace of God, steal my joy, steal the light that God has given into me. You will not let anybody steal your joy, steal the light that God has given unto you. Yeah, for some moments you may be down, but if you're down, you're going to rise up again. Some moments you may be down, if you're down, you're going to rise up again. You're going to do what is it, what God has, com has committed into your hand. What is it that God has committed into your hand? He said, Lord, I look to you. You where my help comes from. Give me vision to see things like you do. God may be telling you about something. Do it. Anyways, do it. It may yield result now. Do it. It may not yield result now. Do what it is that God is telling you to do. One day it's going to yield result. Ruth did not know what she was doing. Was going to yield result at the end of the day. She became one of the great, great grandmothers of Jesus Christ. Elizabeth was serving in the house of God with faith knowing that God is a faithful God, and God visited her. Do what you need to do. Continue to make impact in your generation, in the church, make impact. In the community you find yourself around, people are groping in darkness. Take your candle, run to the darkness. Do what you can do. It may be little. Little is much when God is in it. Little is much when God is in it. Even if it's one person that benefits from your impact in this lifetime, you've done something. You've done something. Tell God, give me your grace. By your grace, I will do something. By your grace, I will rise up. It may be out there, it may not be out there. It may be up there, it may not be up there. Do something. Do something for God. Do something for your generation. Do something for your family. Do something, 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 something can be done. Do it and say, God, help me that I will do it. That my life will be a testimony. That my life will shine. In my household, my light will shine. In my community, my light will shine. In my job, my light will shine. In the church of God, my light will shine. Anywhere we find ourselves, our light will shine. No matter the darkness, no matter the darkness, no matter, no matter, we, we all have our own differences. We all have our own characteristics. We all have the things that we do that we are known for. Let us pray that God will help us. We will not go away from from the plan of God for our life, we're not going to sin, but even with our weaknesses, we'll do something great for Christ. Our lives will shine. God will minister to us. We'll do the thing that God wants us to do. My lights will shine. Your lights will shine. You, you live a beautiful life, a life that God can attest to. First of all, God, because sometimes we may do things that are right, we may do things that are, you know, good in society. We have philanthropists in the society. We have people who do good in the society. But if our life process, because of what use will all those good or those impacts make, if at the end of the day we don't make it to heaven. So that's why we want to pray that God will help us, we will make impact. But at the end of the day, our own soul will also save it. Save your soul. It says save your soul as also by fire. So that at the end of the day, people will not talk about our good works and we missing heaven. At the end of the day, we want to see the father of all light, the father that gave us that light, God will help you, will help me, that we will see the father of all light at the end of the day. Temptations will come, we will overcome. The, the, the battle may be raging, we will overcome. The journey may be, may be tedious, we may be weary, we will overcome. And at the end of the day, our light, no man will dim our light. No demon will dim our light. No evil, no principality will dim our light. All these people we are talking about, there was gross darkness during their time. But we are talking about them now. 
People will talk about you in the mighty name of Jesus. If they don't talk about you now, they will talk about you in a good way in time to come in Jesus' name. So keep doing that that God has committed into your hand. And his name alone, remember everything, is for the glory of God. First Peter 2, 9, he said that we should show forth the praise of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Father, we thank you, Lord, because we know you are speaking to us today. We, me that I'm talking and uh, uh, the people you have, you've spoken to, all of us together, you've spoken to us. We pray, oh God, that our lights will shine. Anyone that is dying inwardly, Father, we pray, you rekindle them by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And help us that we'll be able to rise up and look around us and see what needs to be done. And we will do it, not waiting for the praise of men, not looking at what people are saying or what they are not saying, who we'll do what God has commanded us to do. And your light, our light, your light that you have given unto us will shine for the glory of God. And all praise, O oh Lord, will come to you because that's the purpose that which you have called us into. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we believe you've answered. Take all glory, O oh Lord, to yourself. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Majestically, Amen. because today is our day. We want to thank all our fathers, the pastors, and I pray for more anointing, more grace in Jesus' name. I know a day is coming, a year is coming. We will go by cruise or we go by air. Praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the message that you have given unto us. Thank you for all our fathers in the household, Lord, for these tremendous things that they have done. Father, Lord, take glory in Jesus' name. Father, Lord God, I pray for all mothers and all mothers to be. Lord, your grace for us, O Lord, to serve you and to know you more. Father, give it to each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray. Straighten all our crooked way in the name of Jesus. Make us, O oh Lord, Father, to perfect and to be whole. Father, unto you in the name of Jesus. Make us to be a prudent woman. Make us to be a fascist woman in our homes, in every area of our lives, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be unto your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Shall we all rise up? Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a round of applause. If you know you have been blessed by today's service, if you know you have been blessed by today's service, let's see what a man can do. Brothers, don't be shy to say it. Have you been blessed? Thank God for our sisters, thank God for our mothers. Before we go to part two of today's celebration, somebody said there is a part two. <laughs> uh -uh. Somebody said there is a part two. You know, brothers, we don't carry last. We always make sure we do things and we do it well. So don't worry, there is a part two, and that part two is glorious. I said that part two is glorious. Can our sisters please quickly come forward? All sisters come forward. Brothers, remain standing. Let all the sisters come forward. If you know you are a sister, I know that people are having problem with identity crisis in this country now. If you know you are born biologically a woman, can you please come forward? Come forward, come forward, come forward. Let's move forward. There's space in front here. Let's come to this first front here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Some people are having problem with their identity. The Lord will deliver you in Jesus' name. They are still trying to check with their husband. Am I a woman? You are a woman. Let's come forward, let's come forward. Wow. Can you imagine? If the woman decided not to come to church, what will happen to church? 
Now, brothers, let's stretch out our hands towards them and just begin to pronounce the blessings of God upon them. Let's begin to pronounce God's blessing upon them. Let's begin to pronounce the blessing of heaven. Let's begin to pronounce the blessing of heaven upon them. We are celebrating them today. Let's pray that the heaven will celebrate them. Let's pray that the goodness of God will be upon them, that the mercy of God will be upon them, that the Lord will do them good all the days of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has made them to be a woman for a purpose. He has made them to be a blessing to their generation. Let's begin to pray that none of them will fail God. None of them will fail God in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, that the goodness of God will be upon them. That everything they desire from God, they have their heart cry. Everything they desire from God, that God himself will grant it unto them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brothers, open your mouth and pray for them. Open your mouth and pray. Pour out your heart, even unto this woman. I mean, unto God, on behalf of this woman. Begin to tell the Lord, oh God, God bless our mothers, oh God. Oh God, bless our sisters, oh God. Bless them with the blessings from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They have been a blessing unto us, a blessing indeed. Begin to tell the Lord that the Lord himself will bless them in return. They shall not miss their reward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything the Lord has been doing through them, that God himself, he will bless them in return in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord to keep them that the Lord will keep them. That the day of their honor, the day of their honor, they will not be absent. On the day of their honor, they will not be absent. They have invested so much into us. They have invested so much into their children. On the day of their honor, let's pray that the Lord will keep them safe. Anyone that is having any issue, any, any bodily I mean, sickness, let's begin to call on the name of the Lord on their behalf. That the Lord that is in this house, that the Lord will heal them. He will heal them of every form of sicknesses, every concern in their heart, the Lord will turn them to testimony. Every concern in their heart, the Lord will turn them to testimony. Every concern over their children, every concern over their husband, every concern over their family, pray that the Lord will turn them to testimony. Say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you know they are the one that carries the most of the concerns of the house. Begin to tell the Lord, every concern, every concern, every concern in their heart, in their heart, that the Lord himself will turn them to testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you for your children. We bless your holy name. We worship you as we are celebrating them today. We know heaven is celebrating them. Father, we pray as from today, oh God, every one of them, you will wipe their tears in Jesus' name. Blessed shall they be in their going out and their coming in in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, the fruit of their body, you will bless it mightily in Jesus' name. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, every concerns in their life, oh God, you will turn them to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything, oh God, that keeps them up at night, making them to cry, oh God, the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning. Their, joy, their morning of joy has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Concern over their children, concern over their family, concern over their spouses. Father, I pray those concerns, oh God, you will turn them, oh God, around for your good in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, they will serve you with all their life. As their perfect example of godliness, Father, that which they wish for their children spiritually, they will begin to see it even in their lifetime in the name of Jesus Christ. As a church, Father, you will use them for your glory. As a church, Father, we pray there will be a beacon of light in the mighty name of Jesus. They will shine everywhere they go to, to the glory of your name, in Jesus' name. Father, those that are here looking up unto you, oh God, for the fruit of the womb. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the same God that did it for Hannah, that same God is still alive. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you will wipe away their tears in the name of Jesus Christ. Those, of, those that are looking unto you, O oh God, for a partner, O oh God, I'm praying and asking that you yourself, O oh God, you will choose the man after your own heart, even for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are in school, 
going through one career or the other. Father, I pray by your power, by your grace, you will carry them through in the name of Jesus Christ. All our young sisters, oh God, the grace to stand wherever they go, Father, you will give unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody will take them out of this path of righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. They will grow to become a pillar, even in the household of faith, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you, our mothers. God bless you. Clap for them as they go back. Seniors, if you are a senior among them, stay, 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 stay. Seniors, stay. While the other sisters go back. Seniors, if you carry Medicare card and you are not uh, AARP. Oh, 60s. Okay, yes. 60 and above now. 60 and above. We have brought it down a little bit. You are 60 and above. Can you please uh, come out? And then men too, 60 and above, men. Can you come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out? Men, don't be scared, just come out, men. I will tell you why you are coming out, 60 and above. 60 and above, 60 and above, men. Come out, please. 60 and above. When it's all some of, some men, you don't want them to know your age. God knows your age, Joe. 60 and above. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. Our sister, Sister Lola, taught it deep feet that by God's grace, she wants to honor our seniors in the house. So she prepared a special package for them. And uh, she wants to give it to them. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. She taught it in her heart and she decided to do something for them. So Sister Lola and our sisters, please go ahead. Give it to them. Let's quickly do that. I've done for love's will stand the test. Does it come with names or what? Oh, sizes. Okay, okay. Praise the Lord. When you see it, you will like it. Men, start going downstairs. Let's start getting ready. Men, men, carry your Bible. Start going downstairs, take your position downstairs. Men, brothers. Some people don't even understand if they are brothers or not. Sister Yano, can you release your husband? Can you push him and let him know that he's a brother? Brothers, please, let's go downstairs. Quickly, quickly. Brother Shijuade will give you instruction. Brother Obina will give you instruction down there. Let's go downstairs, let's go downstairs. Those of you that will hold the spoon, go and hold the spoon and get it ready. I will always sing your praise. Are we good? Here on earth and Are we good? Okay, For praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My true <laughs> Are the brothers down now? Ah, bro. You're my light when my ah. But, Brother Jacob, you will be the one to be the chief server. Make sure you be in the middle when you are serving, okay? Okay, let's quickly do that. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. God bless you. Our senior daddies, you are exempted from serving. You just, you sit down, you'll be served. Now, sisters, carry your Bibles and uh, walk majestically downstairs. We have something special for you. You will, you will be surprised. Or let me use the Nigerian English. You will be flabbergasted. Rise up, rise up, rise up. Brothers, help them now. Brothers, usher them downstairs. Brother David, what are you doing up there? Come down, come down, come down, come down. All the brothers. Brothers, come down. I'll show them downstairs. Oh, Sister Chidera, God bless you. Sister Dumebi, God bless you. Good to see you again. God bless you all in Jesus' name.
Monza.com makes Gantz great again. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to say again because they never were and they're complicated. See, with Monza.com, making a Gantt chart is as simple as throwing your process of project stages here, adding owners and timelines and whatever other details you need here, and then, boom, you got Gantt. And it Let's pray for our set decision leader as he stands to give us the word. The letter that killeth will not post out of his mouth. God will preach upon his word. The word will come in a new dimension. It will come in a new dimension and it will transform your life.
Jesus name we we'll pray father we thank you this morning because you have brought us together to bless us this gathering today everything you have planned for every one of us will be fulfilled in our life in Jesus name as we continue for this very beginning the presence and power of God will continue with us in Jesus name at the end of this program only the voice of rejoicing we be in our life and in our midst in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Jesus, the same yesterday, today and forever, is the same today, is mighty to say. Jesus, the same yesterday, Today and forever is the same. Today is mighty to say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. We have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you are so powerful. Hallelujah. When we pray in the name of Jesus, tell me who has the power to oppose. In the name of our mighty Jesus, we are the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are the Clap your hands. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Satan, you are so bow. Hallelujah. When we pray in the name of Jesus, tell me who has the power to oppose in the name of Almighty Jesus. We are the victory. I am believer, praise the Lord. I am believer by his word. Once I was bound by the chain of Satan, but now I am believer, praise the Lord. I don't know. We worship you, Son of God. You are so good, Almighty God. Hallowed be the name. Your dominion is forever. Is forevermore. Son of God, you are so good, Almighty God, hallowed be your name, your dominion is forevermore. One Worthy, 
you've bestowed. Thank you for your mercy and your love. We give you glory, we give you praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. Mighty God, we plead 
as we continue in this program, this last day of this special convocation, we pray you will visit us with special blessings. And you will touch everyone, bless everyone, meet every need in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself in our need. Demonstrate your mighty power. Take all the glory, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And amen. We remain standing as we sing together from gospel hymns and songs number 205. Hymn number 205. Five. Gospel hymns and songs, number 205. Have you counted the chords? There's a line that is drawn by rejecting our Lord where the call of his spirit is lost. And you hurry along with the pleasure mad throng. Have you counted? Have you counted the chords? You may batter your hope of eternity's mom for a moment of joy at the most. For the glitter of sin and the thieves it will win. Have you counted? Have you counted the cost? Why the door of his mercy is open to you, ere the death of his love you exhaust? Won't you come and be healed? Won't you whisper, I yield? I have counted, I have counted the cost. Have you counted the cost if your soul should be lost? Though you gain the whole world for your own, even now it may be that the line you have crossed, have you counted? Have you counted the cost? 